What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon Scarlet and Violet uh, cooperative series that we're doing with Mr. Brown. Of course, on our end, we are doing the Pokemon Violet Nuzlocke. Um, in the previous episode, we took on the Team Star base of the Fire Type one. I don't remember what it's called, the Shedder Squad or whatever the hell it's called. And today, we're going to be doing another Wi-Fi battle against Mr. Brown. Um, it's going to be a little bit interesting. Just because we don't really... I don't know... I don't know how to necessarily approach this battle. To be fair, I think it's going to be one of those battles where it's going to be a lot of the same... Like... Problems. And that our team is under-leveled compared to his being over-leveled. And, you know... That's how you want to play the game. You can play it that way. I'm not trying to make it. I'm not trying to make it sound like I'm salty with that. But a lot of the no, I'm not answering you. Um, a lot of the issue is um, that, and the fact that a good amount of our team isn't evolved, um, whereas his is evolved. Um, we saw in the previous episode he has a tank a ton now which that single-handedly is going to probably screw me over. So I have to really, really, really um, play smart in order to win today. And if that means I have to play around dig strategy again, then that's kind of what we have to do. I don't think he will let me do it again like that. But you never know. You honestly never know. Um, we do have the Tapu Fini now, which may make some little bit of difference. It's hard to say, um, because when we get it to Palafin, that's when it's really, really good, but as a Finizen, it's not really gonna do me any justice. Plus it doesn't evolve until level 38. And I kind of said this before, I really don't want the Nuzlocke portion of this game to be... ...too easy. And the thing is, is that it's probably going to be that way... ...for the duration of the main game. Like, it's very possible that we could go the entire portion of this main game and not lose anything. Because it's not like we got to play with challenges or anything like that. We're just, we're, we're playing. We're playing the game through normally, um, but we're using mods that we've never used before. So, um, hmm, this is interesting. You brought the mud bray. Well, obviously, we lead with, I don't think it's that obvious, but I think we lead with, what are the chances he leads Crocolore? Do you think he, re do you really think he would lead with Crocolore, or do you think he leads Tinkaton? I think he leads Tinkaton thinking I'm going to be scared of it, but I think if I lead Matcha and get the stun spore off immediately, there's a good chance that we can do something. If we get rid of, if we get rid of the Tinkaton, realistically, we can win. If we get rid of the Tinkaton, we realistically can win. Because that's his ace. That's what we get rid of. We're good. Because our levels are pretty well rounded. He does lead Tinkaton. Now, let's think about this for a brief second. Brief, brief second. Does he go for Gigaton Hammer? If he goes for Gigaton Hammer, that's going to kill pretty much anything I send out. So do I see him doing that? Honestly? So if I see him doing that, I'm going into my Flittle. Because Flittle is not going to do anything. Until this thing evolves, it's not going to do anything. So we're just going to go ahead and do that. Does go for the Gigaton Hammer. Her. 
picked green. Um, he does. Oh, I just realized he could have knockoff. This is not good for us. It's What do you want for? What do you, what do you want for? But no, you don't want for a first person. Do I... Do I terrorize him as a person? In the hopes that he goes for a knockoff and he doesn't kill him? I think I have to. He withdraws. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. This is... This is still okay. Um, this is still okay. Um, not what I would have preferred. Not what I would have preferred. And we're gonna miss. So, glad to know that... Glad to know that that Um, yeah, that sucks. That really does suck. Um... Speed anything with this guy. We found that out the hard way. go for dive. Um, I really do need to get a crit though, because with this thing having stamina, it's going to be a problem. Counter! We don't kill here. That's a big move for me to go for. Big move. That's criminal. That's criminal, man. I know it increases the chance for critical hits, but come on. Come on. I don't know if- it, I don't think it's gonna be a 6-0 sweep. You might let us go down here. I could just- a nightshade kill? I think a nightshade kill. Even if he swaps a crocodile, I think a nightshade kill. I'm gonna go for it. Oh, that's not good. 
big, big turn here. Does he expect the switch? He's got Technician. 1,000% has Technician. Are you kidding me? I would love it if it was Love it if it goes on the time. Problem is, I don't know what Scyther's base speed is uh, compared to... Locus. But knowing he's got a quick claw, that's a problem. But how much damage do you have? You have like 42 damage, so it's gonna be a roll here. Yeah, that Tinkaton, I think, is gonna wall me completely. I think it's gonna wall me completely. I might let him go down to the Smart idea. Smart idea. Um. Yeah, Tinkaton just walled me. There's. Uh, about that. Same with this guy. Um, assurance is stab, so this will go like 80, 90. I could kill from this room with assurance. You waste this terror here, that'd be perfect. Andy outspeeds me. Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. Oh. Does the flinches? At two flinch and two flinches in a row. Oh my god, I'm not surprised. That's the one thing about Pokemon. Obviously, if we played at a uh, level 50, things would be a little bit different. Not really too different, but you can't. You can't really do. It. You can't do a whole lot. I thought the read with the Tinkaton was smart. Um, of course, the Stun Spore would have been nice. Um, I'm pretty sure that Crocolore... That Crocolore needs to get an MVP. Like, I just can't... I can't believe it. Hey, you better tell that Crocolore to go buy a lottery ticket. <laughs> you better go I tell knew. that man I to go buy... I hearing about that. <laughs> That man dodged a paralysis. Uh, he, yeah. he got two <laughs> flinches in a row. And he lived that. on like one HP. Yep. Two HP in a dream. Let's go, man. <laughs> yeah, you better tell that man to go buy a lottery ticket. I knew I was going to be hearing about the flinches. <laughs> yeah, no, because if I, oh, I if, I, if, yeah. I, if I attacked you one of those turns, I would have killed the Crocolore. I don't know, man. 
<laughs> yeah, no, I would have because I still had I had plus one attack. So if I hit you twice with plus one attack, I would have I would have killed you. Yeah, it's got pretty lucky. I would say. <laughs> yeah, and I also didn't get lucky with my focus energy roll either to get a critical hit on the mud bray. Yeah, I thought you sent out the little other guy. I thought I sent out my lower level guy. <sighs> If I got a crit, I mean, it, it's hard to say how the battle would have gone, but I wouldn't I really have wanted to use counter and see what it see would have done. I yeah. would have not won, but I would have been a lot closer than a 4-0. That's all I'm going to say. But no, you 100% you were going to hear about that double flinch. Like, <laughs> I should have done it a third time, see if I got all three. Criminal, criminal. <laughs> if you guys enjoyed that clusterfuck, make sure you hit the like button. <laughs> Man's got five wins under his belt. Let's go, man. So I'll be keeping bite. Yeah, I don't really know what else to say. I'm in distraught right now. Um, <laughs> I, I would like to say next time it won't be the same, but I... <laughs> you never know at this point. I thought there was a chance because, you know, Tinkatone was the only thing that, like, like I saw it. It was level 38. I'm like, hmm. If I can get rid of that thing, we're good. We didn't get rid of that thing. Oh, I barely even used her. I used it in the first one. And then yeah, you after used, that, I didn't you really used use her it. for, like, one turn. Because I yeah. knew you were going to Gigaton Hammer turn one. I'm like, he's, yeah. he's going to do it. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not going to yeah. let my matcha die because I know he's going to Gigaton Hammer first one. So I'm going to just sack this thing because I know he's going to do it. <laughs> oh, well. GG's, Perfect. GG's. Like I said, if you guys enjoyed, hit the like button, subscribe. Um, look at the links down below um, so you can see the other person's POV. Um, but, uh, yeah. That's pretty much all there is to this episode. Hey, hey, you might get him next time, though. Nope. Um, next episode, we're going to take on our next gym leader, which is going to be um, a little bit further down this route, actually, so we don't have to fucking travel across the region. We just got to go down a little ways. We're going to fight our next gym leader. Should be fun. I think Mr. Brown's going to enjoy this gym leader a lot. Or at least be interested. So, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Peace Next out. time.